This Valentine's Day, it's not all hearts and roses. On a previous show, India was busted cheating with Precious's husband, Andre. Did you have sexual intercourse with Andre? You That's said true. no. Tim? India was not being <laughs> They're all back. You, you could forgive her for cheating on you that, that mm -hmm. one time. I, I really did. You got the news, I understand. Oh, yeah. We found out that India is now pregnant. Today, Precious will reveal a jaw-dropping secret. I have been sleeping with India. What? Oh, 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 oh. Will this web of lies destroy their family ties? Through all of this, there's only one person that has my heart, and I want to tell you how I feel. is convinced that Andrew is cheating. I found pictures of a naked, skinny co-worker in his cell phone. And I'm talking like, I could have been this girl's gynecologist. That's how close it was. He denies everything. She's got to stop the paranoia. Actually, he's barely even trying. So take me through why you had those pictures of your co-worker. She was a virgin. I just want to have sex with her. Break her virginity. Seriously, with me? Will the lie detector reveal anything he hasn't already admitted? When meeting women, have you lied about being in a relationship with Ashley? You said yes. Hold that. What is it? Smell it. Coffee? Yes, hello. Wake up. <laughs> Today on Trisha. Valentine's Day upon us, today's couples should be celebrating love and romance, but instead, shocking secrets and twisted lies are tearing their relationships apart. Last season, we met Precious, who was accusing this woman, India, of sleeping with her husband, Andre. Now, Precious and India were close because India was dating Precious's brother, Beau. In fact, they were all living in the same house together. Take a look at this outrageous story. I've even asked India to marry me, but I can't take that next step until I find out the truth. Well, I didn't came home in the evening. She's sitting on a couch with just a T-shirt on, no bra, no panties. My husband's sitting there with no shirt on, pants unbuckled. It's because we were watching a movie. What were you wearing? I, I was. I had on my T-shirt. You know, I had on clothes, but I was changing. Did you have underwear? Yeah. 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 Shorts. What happened in the shower? I was in the shower. Right. Okay. He walked in. I didn't say nothing to him. Whoa. Do you really think that India is cheating on you with your brother-in-law? I don't want to believe it. So let's do that. Let's get to the results. Have you ever sent Andre naked pictures of yourself? You said no, Tim. India was not being truthful. <laughs> Did you have sexual intercourse with Andre when Precious caught you and Andre in the bathroom together? You That's said true. no. Tim? India was not being <laughs> true. Next to me is Precious, and backstage in secluded areas are her husband, Andre, her brother, Bo, and his girlfriend, India. Now, Precious is here today because she has a secret she wants to reveal to her husband, Andre, and to her brother, Bo. Before we find out what that is, what happened after those results? After the show, Trisha, we all went our separate ways. Everybody split up. I split up with my husband. India split up with my brother. Everybody went their separate ways. But Did she ever say sorry or anything to you? No, she never really. She apologized for the situation, but still never owned up to it. But you and Andre actually got back together mm -hmm. again. We try to work things out. We're still trying to work things out. We have mm -hmm. a few trust issues, but he's still there for me. I understand that uh, India came to live with you. How was that? Yeah, I realized India had no one. She had nowhere to go. And me being a person that I am, I don't want to see no one on the street, no matter what they do. I can forgive anyone, you know. So you took her in? Mm -hmm. I took India in. So tell us why you're here today. I'm here to tell my husband and my brother that for the past nine months or so, I've been sleeping with India. Ooh. How did it start? 
We was drinking, led to kissing, kissing led to touching, and we started having sex. Where were you doing this? My brother, my husband, they didn't know anything but about it. But you were it. split up, India was split up from Bo, mm -hmm. you were split up from your husband, mm -hmm. so I'm guessing the two of you were free agents. Right, but it was going on after we got back together and after her, my brother got back together. Whoa! Has it stopped or? Yeah, because we found out that India is now pregnant for my brother. Does Andre have any clue about this? No, when my husband when my husband was away, he knew that I cheated on him. He just didn't know that I cheated on him with India. Does Bo have any idea about no. this? Okay. So today you want to actually tell your brother and your partner that this has been going on? Yes. Yeesh. Well, they haven't heard any of this, so let's bring them out now. So come on out, Andre and Bo. Welcome. We didn't meet before. No, ma'am. No. Uh, and Bo, hi. Welcome back. How are you doing? So, last time we met you, well, we didn't meet you, but Bo, last time we met you, things were pretty rocky between you and India. How are they now? Oh, it's, it's great now. It's taking it one day at a time, moving yeah. forward. Moving. How, why did you get back with her? Well, Tricia, before I left here the last time, I said, I love her. I mean, that's who I want to be with, so. Ah. I mean, okay. You don't fall out of love overnight. And uh, you got good news, I understand. Oh, yeah. <laughs> India came out with the paper and was like, I'm pregnant. And I was like, what? Is that good news? Yes, it's great news. <laughs> far along is she She's now? 15 weeks. 15 weeks and you're gonna be a daddy with her. Yes ma'am. Now Andre as I said last show you weren't here together. How have things been between you and Precious? It's been good after I went through things with her and she told me things and... What, what did she tell you? That she hadn't been faithful and we separated and we worked it out and... Could you, you, you been... could forgive her for, for cheating on you that that mm -hmm. one time. I, I really did. Now, you, are you still s claiming that you didn't have sex with India? Is that still your... your yeah, that's whole... still, yeah, that's yeah. still... Yeah, you're still I, pleading the I, fifth on that one? I'm still pleading the fifth on yeah. that one. I hadn't... Yeah. What, why are you shaking your head? You don't believe, don't believe him? That. No, I don't believe that either, but there you go. He's sticking to his story. Yeah. All yeah. right, now, gentlemen, as you know, um, Precious has brought you here to tell you a secret. Any ideas what it could be? I feel like she shouldn't have to have no secret with me. She already. Bo, do you have any idea what Precious? I've I've tried to guess in my head, but. All right. Yeah. So oh. Precious. Okay, y'all know I love y'all to pieces. You know I would never do anything to intentionally hurt you, or you. And I just wanted to tell y'all for the past few months that I have been sleeping with India. Oh. What? To me twice for the last past three twice. Who? Never gave for, for, the... for the past eight months. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, man. Man. And I'm thinking that what we had was 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 done with, and this way you're gonna do it again. But I mean, I won't do it again. What you said that the first time, and here it is now, doing it again. I mean, eight, I'm eight sorry. Months. I apologize. You know, I love y'all, and eight I don't want to do nothing to hurt so... y'all. It's over with. She was pregnant during the time? No, we didn't. We, when we found out about the baby, we haven't slept together since. Man, what about us, our marriage? What's, what's, what we gonna do about that? Yeah. Ah. So, so when were you getting together with India then? When where was I? Yeah, where was Bo? He was never really around. I mean, he'll be at work or he'll be gone. Me and India was always left alone. Man. But babe, man. I love you and I promise you I will never do anything to Melissa and hurt you, you said again. That the last time when you admitted but that. But I forgave you. I mean, this is a this is a marriage. Look. You know, we make mistakes, I'm not perfect. You know, and I just want you to forgive me and I want us to work through this. Man. Well, look, Man. I think I think everyone's got questions for India. Before we meet her and she comes out here, she actually taped a message for all three of you. This message is from India. I want you all to know that I'm sorry for all the drama that I caused in our lives. I don't want to hurt anyone, and I never meant for this to happen like it did. 
the truth is out and I know what I did was wrong. But through all of this, there's only one person that has my heart and I want to tell you how I feel. Whoa, well, when we come back, we're going to hear from the woman in the middle of this drama and find out if she wants to be with her boyfriend or his sister. Stay tuned. <laughs> Next. I have been sleeping with India. What? Oh, 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 man. Later. Ashley is convinced that Andrew is cheating. I had found naked pictures of a female co-worker. I just want to have sex with her. Seriously? With me? Secrets revealed. Oh, 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 Today on Trisha. <laughs> wow. It's, um, it's not all hearts and roses this Valentine's Day for today's guests. In fact, it's deception, it's lies, it's betrayal. Now, Precious has just revealed a shocking secret to the men in her life that you've been carrying on with India, that's your brother's partner um, who is pregnant, and while you've still been married to Andre, this whole time you had, and India have been having a sexual relationship. Why tell everyone like this? Why not just keep it to yourself? Because I'm not the type of person that keeps secrets. I'm a very loyal and honest person, and I just didn't want to hurt anybody. Why? Why didn't you just tell me the first time when we was at home so none of this wouldn't it, we hadn't come here to do this? You Maybe it was revenge. Maybe it was revenge for what revenge. you didn't do. Revenge on what? Revenge on what? Well, look, it takes two people. There's two people, and, and at least Andre can sit here and talk to Precious about this situation. We've yet to hear from India. I want to hear her side of things. So, India, come on out. Is this true, India? You and Precious? Yes, it is. Who true. started it? Who came on to who? It wasn't nothing that came on to anybody. It was just, you know, at the time, me and Bo arguing. At the time, her and Andre had something going on. It's just like, you know, at the time, we just needed somebody there for us. But so, each other. So, so, Precious, you admitted that you came on to India. Yeah. Because you've had uh, sexual relationships with a, a woman before. Yeah. So you groomed her? <laughs> I mean, I can't make nobody do what they don't want to yeah, do. Yeah, right. You but know, you get her in a bed and she's crying on your shoulder and you think, what the hell, she slept I with mean, my man. I mean, she wasn't anyway. doing too much crying. <laughs> so, India, there's something I want to know, because this is what I think is at the heart of it. Was the sex good? It was... <laughs> oh. I mean, it was good. Was it? it was good. It was, was it? good. Yeah, it was yeah. good. That's why you kept going but, back. Was it about the sex? It was about the sex. It to was me, about it was. the sex. Do you feel guilty? I, I do feel guilty. Whose idea was it to come clean? Yours? I mean, I just felt like I, I don't want to keep no secret for nobody, from anybody, and I feel like, I mean, I'm pregnant now, so I feel like the, the truth should have been out. I don't want to have to hide this. If my baby watches, I don't want to have to hide it from but him. But who, whose idea was it to actually come out and tell these guys about it? I mean, it was... Come on, was it yours, Precious? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a shock. So, India, you slept with Bo. I don't care what you say, there was something going on between you and Andre. And now, you, and you've also... Yeah, right. And you also have slept with Precious. Um, Precious, you obviously are uh, together. That's your brother. And I'm about the only person who hasn't been intimate with everyone else. You and I, Bo. <laughs> yeah! But she also ah. said that me and her been together. I haven't never wow. been with that woman. India, who do you want to be with then, Bo or Precious? I don't have any feelings for Precious. It was it was never a feeling. It was just to me, it was only sex and confident. But I want to be with Bo. That's the only person I want to be with. That's the only person I've been with, and that's the only person I want to be with. I have a family coming along. That's I don't want nobody. So else. you didn't love? You don't love Precious? I mean, I love her like a. You know, a good friend, a sister, but yeah, it's nothing. Yeah, I've been dipping it down. Been, yeah. <laughs> dipping it down. How yes. do you feel hearing that, Precious? I mean, does that hurt? A little bit. But Why? Because Would I do. Would you like to be honest about how you feel with India? This I mean, is about I putting your I wanted to tell India that I do have emotional feelings for her, 
and Are that you I knew. You like so what, what, I like. what about what? What do I? What, Come on, man. But I'm yeah, pretty man. sure we can work things out. Yeah. Okay. And I, I mean, yeah. I love all yeah. of y'all. I mean, yeah. I just want to come out yeah. clean to everyone. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anyone. Yeah. How are you feeling, Bo? Because out of everyone here, I see you as the, the most innocent guy. You were so... Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, just... To be honest, I'm, 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 I'm hurt inside. But what's inside of her, I mean, that can't... My sister can't, you know... Are you talking See, about a future together course, with India? I mean, Marriage? Hopefully, but that's my sister. Yeah, I can go a couple days without speaking to her, but that's my sister. I love my sister with all my heart. Because I love him regardless. I mean, regardless. Can both of you say that it is always in the past? Because you guys are going to be scared every time they're left alone together. Yeah, exactly. Every time I got to go to work. Yeah. Ten to six. Yeah. Ain't no telling what may happen. Mm. Ain't no, ain't no telling. Well, I'll tell you something. Revenge ain't revenge unless mm. the person mm. knows about they, it. They say it's revenge, but I don't think it's it because I never slept with that lady. Oh, right. Okay. What happens between you two? Because Bo, you say you're going to stick with India no matter what. What about you, Andre? This is a lot of work got to be done because this is, it done happened to me twice already, and I haven't. I don't even think I deserve it. We can work this. things out. But you know what, Andre? If I can forgive India, you can forgive Precious, bro. Yeah. yeah. I want to apologize to both of them because, you know, it, it is wrong. But people ain't perfect. I'm hearing what you say. We all make mistakes, but we don't make those mistakes for eight or nine months of a stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, it's over and over. I really do wish you all the best of luck in repairing your, mm -hmm. your relationships. We'll be right back. Next. Ashley is convinced that Andrew is cheating. I had found naked pictures of a female co-worker. I just want to have sex with her. Seriously? With me? Later. You don't have any empathy. You don't have any sympathy. The only thing you seem to feel is sex. <laughs> Celebrating love, but my next guest says her relationship has left her an emotional wreck. Now, this is Ashley. She's convinced her boyfriend of four years, Andrew, is cheating on her, but she just can't prove it. She's found evidence of Andrew seeking random sexual encounters and secretly messaging other women, but he vehemently denies he's cheating. Now, sadly, Ashley says that Andrew has made her feel downright worthless. Listen to this. I think my boyfriend Andrew is cheating on me and I can't live like this another day. I've always had self-esteem issues growing up because I've always been a little bit heavier than all the girls in my class. Instead of Andrew making me feel better, he just makes me feel even uglier than I am. I found pictures of a naked, skinny coworker in his cell phone. He's going on the hookup sites to find big boo women to have affairs or flings with maybe one time or maybe more. When I find out about him having a Facebook under another name, I'm at the point I don't even know what to do. The way he looks at all the other girls, I do actually believe that if it came down to me and a skinny girl, he would go with them. We've been together for four years and he doesn't want to touch me anymore. I really think my size is turning him off. It is tearing me up inside to the point where I don't even want to get up some days. When you tell him that some days you just don't want to get out of bed, what does he say, Ashley? I just get this dumbass grin on his face. Take me through some of the reasons why you think he's cheating on you. I had found naked pictures of a female co-worker that had worked with us. And how far are we talking about when you say naked pictures? Well, full-on nudity, 
and then close-ups of the top half and the bottom half. And I'm talking like, I could have been this girl's gynecologist. That's how close it was. Now, what about these websites you found? Him yeah, on? I didn't know what it was, so I went on myself and filled out all the information. So this is all for, about sex? Most of it, yeah, it's all sex. Oh. There's all different things. You put what you want. Yeah. Tell me about his Facebook profile, then. Behind my back, once I had went, gone through his email, I found out he had opened up another Facebook account with his real photo under a different name and a different location of living, but under relationship status, he put, it's complicated. His answer was, oh, we argue a lot. That's not complicated to me. That's very yeah. cut forward. No, actually, and for sex life, how's that? We use, you know, often, you know, sometimes a couple times a day, and now it's like, I'm even lucky if we have sex once a month. Aww. Do you think he has a problem with your weight? I honestly do, because I have gotten bigger since we have been together and everything, and he has told me if I do get to a certain size, he would have to leave me. I have one thing to say to you. One thing to say to you. Hold that. What is it? Smell it. Coffee? Yes, hello. Wake up. <laughs> well, what does he give you? How does he make every day a better place, of, you know, the world a better place to be in. What does he give you? What does he do for you? Well, I do know that there is a good side to him. No, I that's not what that. I'm asking. Seriously, I'm asking you, what does he give you? How does he make your day better? How does he improve your life? It's hard to think of. Yeah, exactly. I want to hand you back the coffee. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now... Stage, and I want to bring him out here, but first let's listen to how he feels about these accusations. Ashley thinks I'm cheating on her. She's driving me freaking crazy. Our relationship's on thin ice. So what if I had Nick pictures on my phone? It doesn't mean I'm cheating on Ashley. It means that I like to look at women. I'm not having sex with anybody but Ashley. When I first met Ashley, she was a lot skinnier, had a lot of ambition, did the dishes, cleaned the house, took care of everything. Now Ashley's packing on the pounds, she doesn't do anything. I constantly have to tell her to do everything, and I don't know what to do. Ashley found out I went on a hookup site. Maybe it crossed my mind, but I did not contact anybody. I did not have sexual relations with anybody on any website. We barely have sex at all, and her nagging is driving me up the wall. I love her and want to have kids with her, but she's got to stop the paranoia. I can't take it anymore. When I pass this test, she better back off or move out. Let's meet Andrew. Next. So take me through why you had those pictures of your co-worker. She was a virgin. I just want to have sex with her. Break her virginity. Later, you don't have any empathy. You don't have any sympathy. The only thing you seem to feel is sex. You are the fire. You're up on stage. Revealed. Oh, oh, man. Man. Today on Trisha. I think my boyfriend Andrew is cheating on me, and I can't live like this another day. I found pictures of a naked, skinny co worker in his cell phone. The way he looks at all the other girls, I do actually believe that if it came down to me and a skinny girl, he would go with them. So what if I had Nick pictures on my phone? It doesn't mean I'm cheating on Ashley. It means that I like to look at women. I'm not having sex with anybody but Ashley. I love her and want to have kids with her, but she's got to stop the paranoia. Let's meet Andrew. <laughs> Hi. So, Andrew, these accusations are getting to you? Yeah, she's accusing me of cheating all the time. Um, Smelling me, checking my back for scratches. Smelling you? Yes, checking my phone, won't leave me alone. So, so, so take me through why you had those pictures of your co-worker. We were together when I got them, and uh, she was a virgin, and you know, virgin, <laughs> I only had a couple in my life, and you know, I was trying to work on her, and uh... Were you interested in this girl? She that, sounds like she was, she was pretty cute. she was a cute. virgin, that's it. You could have been her first... Partner? Yeah, I was trying to manipulate her and see how far I can get her to go. Uh, so were you trying to make this girl think you were single? Yeah, I just want to have sex with her. 
break a virginity. Seriously, with me? How I would mean, you have told me that? When, when would you have done it? Brought her <laughs> in the place where I sleep with you? I don't know. Let's talk about the secret uh, Facebook profile. Was that to find women as well? That was to hook up with old friends. She don't want me talking to none of my ex-girlfriends, uh, none of my um, old uh, guy friends, you know. Just girls. Some of them are in trouble, you what know. What are you saying, just girls? Because it is just girls if you go on the site. Most of my friends are just girls. I, I have a few oh. guy friends, but... Uh, but mainly, mainly women. Yeah, and yeah. you know, they like to talk to me. It doesn't mean I'm having sex with them. But she accuses she, you she, of that. She, 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 if she's my friend on my Facebook account, she's going to see all the posts. So, so what's wrong with it, that, I, if they're innocent? Because she's going to constantly not. accuse me. Oh, because what, what they're not innocent, that's why. If you feel like you need to hide it, it's obviously wrong. That's what my grandma always taught me. <laughs> uh, if you cannot do it in front of someone you love, it's wrong. Um, here's where I'm confused. Your status, uh, it's a complicated relationship. What does that mean? I love her, but we don't have sex. I mean, That's we your don't. Decision. We probably wouldn't what do you sleep mean in the same bed. Hang on, what, what do you mean it's she, his decision? Do you decide you don't want to have sex with her? She's gained weight. She don't, take, she don't do dishes. She don't have any ambition. Because you make me feel that way. What, well, you, you when you get, say she's you gained need to weight. Go get some medication or something. You need to. You know, you need to Maybe get yourself you some, some medication. depression medication. So, so when you say she's gained weight, do you think she should be doing something about that? We're, and we uh, have joined a gym. We, we have joined a it's gym. I bought her like a gym that. membership. Right. And, uh, you know, I told her, you know, you need to get on there and get your ass moving on the treadmill yeah. and burn, you know, nine, 900,000 pounds, you know. Yeah, does, nine, does, does uh, it? 900,000 calories a day. What's this? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Lost ten pounds. No I lost ten pounds You're in no about supermodel. twelve days. So she a little too hefty for your liking. Then you yeah. shouldn't have been with me. Yeah. You weren't that heavy when I met you. Tell me about um, the the video you showed her of you with this half naked girl. I think it was from <laughs> a break. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's it's on my my iPad mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. it's mine, so it doesn't matter what's on it. She did, why did you it. why did you show it to her? Because she wanted to use them one day, and she seen no, them on there. I came over. You I were like, "Hey, look." I didn't. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe I did show her. I don't. I don't remember. Yeah. But anyway, she seen them. How this would you? Girl, how would you feel if? Room. How would you feel if she showed you so, a video of her making out with a guy? That's that, cool. I'm all right with that. <laughs> and you know? the hookup website. What was that for? You know. To hook up. It, it was to see. You know. Um, the, there yeah. was a fee for the site. You, you weren't allowed to text anybody or no. anybody's number. Yeah. So I didn't sign up for that. But if but, it was free, you would have gone ahead. Yeah. 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 And yeah. What, what what were they offering? What what could you, you know, like done? one night stands, cougars looking for young men. You, would you you um, go for that? Would you? Maybe. He I don't has know. slept with both. He has slept with married women. Well, uh, last night our cameras were rolling while Andrew was waiting in our green room with a woman he didn't know it was a decoy who worked for us. Now now. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I just want to tell you, I just want to tell you he didn't try to fool around with her, but he did express some of his true feelings. Have a look at this. Are you guys, like, together? Not really. I mean, we'll find out tomorrow. Do you still love her and everything? Uh, it's hard to say sometimes. I don't know. I don't have sex with her. You don't have sex with her? No. I have bought a hooker before, a long time before I got with this girlfriend. Does she know? A long time ago. Yeah, I think I told her. Wait, so who is that? Your ex-girlfriend? No, just buddy. So are you surprised that that Ashley? Yeah, because he claimed to know that that was a decoy when he came Let back. Let me ask you honestly. So, if you could, mm -hmm. she doesn't give you sex. She's put on weight. Doesn't do the dishes. Her voice annoys you. If you could hook up with a girl without her finding out, you would, right? If she never found out? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And I think you're pretty good at hiding stuff because, you know, the false account, that was clever. So I think you, 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 you're pretty clever at doing that stuff, right? Not clever enough because I found it. No, 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 no only because he wanted you to find it. So maybe you give out a bit, right? Am I right? She'll give out. It's just, yeah. I don't want to give out. Yeah, because she turns you off at the moment. Yeah, because yeah, uh, she needs weight. to go to the gym for a little bit. Yeah. You know, a couple of months, maybe lose some The weight. weight is a bit of a turn off. Yeah, yeah, it is. Well, we gave Andrew a lie detector test. I don't know why. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pass.
have those results when we come back, so stay with us. <laughs> Next. He is my best friend. He's my lover. He's your best friend? That's how your best because friend's for you? I believe something happened in our life. She I believe something me, but... happened in your life. No, I don't have my no? great childhood. You don't have any empathy. You don't have any sympathy. The only thing you seem to feel is sex. <laughs> Ashley, who's just moments away from finding out if her boyfriend of four years, Andrew, has been cheating on her. <laughs> no. You seriously needed a lie detector to work that one out, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, Ashley, so far you've found naked photos of this co-worker in a phone, secret online profiles for sexual hookups. If that's not bad enough, last night he admitted to our decoy that he'd even paid for sex. So, Andrew... What happens if you pass the lie detector test? What do you want I'm from? I'm gonna pass that. I know. Yeah, but w what do you want from Ashley? I want her to change her ways, get mm. uh, more ambitious, more motivation. Yeah. Uh, lose some weight. What was and, this about um, the freebie you thought you'd? I think from all the stuff she's put me through, all the drama, yeah, all the Yeah, he thinks he deserves a freebie here. for passing. What's a, test? a freebie? What do you mean by freebie? Uh, you know. He gets to go have sex no, with a random her. person. Yeah, oh, just, just no, sex. No, no, with her. With no, girl. no. He gets a freebie so, with so a random girl. One free night with a girl. Oh, Would you like a foursome? Foursome? Yeah, whatever. No, no. You're either with me or you're not. You, you pick me or no one. Uh, That's fine. Right? So you don't want to be with me. Oh, we're going to wait to see. No, no, no. Ashley, Ashley, if he passes the lie detector test, what then? If you say you're going to stay with him, I'm going to scream. <laughs> if I mean, he... I've been looking for help. I mean, I've been asking family members to help me and everything. Help you what? Get away from Get him? Get away, I have. Why don't happen? you leave him? Because I'm... I have nowhere to go. I have no help. I have nobody. He is everything I have. He is my best friend. He's my lover. He's your best friend? That's how your best because friends treat you? I believe something happened in our life. And she I believe something me, but... happened in your life. No, I don't have my no? great childhood. Whoa. <laughs> no, something happened so, to you. I think it's time we get to the lie detector results. Joining us is our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta. Tim. <laughs> Are you ready with the results? I just read from here and Tim uh, will tell us whether you were being truthful or not. So, Tim, we asked Andrew, do you want the truth to come out today? Andrew said yes. Tim? The polygraph determined that Andrew was being truthful. So it's working. Maybe. We asked, when meeting women, have you lied about being in a relationship with Ashley? You said yes. The polygraph determined that Andrew was being truthful. Of course. What? Why do you still lie about that? Well, you know, you see, why can't you just be honest? I mean, what? It doesn't feel like we're in a relationship. When you can't I mean... bring them home, they're going to ask why. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I got my girlfriend yeah, at home. Uh, some oh, wait, I forgot I to tell you about her. I'll never see him again, you know? If they ask if I have a girlfriend, I mean, well, why do I got to tell Did them? Did that happen one time? Them? When people ask me, I tell them. At the, at the store. So you're just getting there, and you, so you, 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 in order to get with these girls, you've got to tell them that you're single, right? But I haven't got with anyone since I've been but with her. But you show intention. Changed. You yes, have intentions of I doing it. Because I want her it. to change. If she does not change. How is that going to make me change? That's only going to make me worse. Seriously. Well, I guess. I guess. All right. I guess you going? Going? I I just, just a minute. Wait, just a minute. You came here for the truth. Tim, what did you want to say? Uh, Trisha, first, uh, I wanted to mention, I should have mentioned it before, but I wanted to mention, Andrew did come in yesterday, sit down with me. Um, he seemed a little bit agitated. It took a few minutes. We got the test going. Um, he was doing a couple of things, changing his breathing. The uh, connections on his fingers kept coming off. Oh, he's read the websites about how to uh, be I'm, like. I'm sure. Oh, but uh, he Googles everything. What ended up happening is he came back in this morning. We talked a few minutes. He told me, Tim, I'm going to cooperate today. 
Okay. And we did the test. All right, so let's keep going. We asked Andrew, did you have sexual contact with the co-worker who sent you naked pictures? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Andrew was being truthful. Yeah. Because I caught you in time. He caught you in time. Because yeah. I caught you in time. Andrew, we asked you, while in a relationship with Ashley, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than her? You said no. Tim? The polygraph determined that Andrew was being truthful. Andrew and I did have a long conversation. He did admit to me that uh, there were two breakups, one in 2012 where he did hook up with uh, and have sex with 10 women multiple times. Oh, uh, okay. The second time was in together. 2013, and he told me that he did hook up and have sex with two women. Okay. At least the number went down. Andrew. The only time I had sex was one. When you were left. split up. Okay, I want to uh, congratulate you, mm -hmm. not for passing the lie detector test, but for being one of the most difficult guests our staff have ever dealt with. Difficult? Mm -hmm. yeah. How am I difficult? Yeah. Um, having gone through your background notes and what have you, um, I wanted to ask you a couple of things. Have you ever been diagnosed with anything like Asperger's or any mental health problem? <laughs> no. no, that's not a joke. It's not no. funny. Asperger's and what else? Any other Bipolar mental... or something like that, no. Okay, because your lack of emotion, your lack of insight into other people's emotions and feelings makes me realise that the problem isn't... Well, there is a problem with Ashley, why you're putting up with this crap, but the problem is actually with you. You don't have any empathy, you don't have any sympathy. The only thing you seem to feel is sex. You yeah. have no screen. Uh, most people think, I'm not going to say that, I'm not going to say this, which leads me... I have no me... filter. And I do sometimes treat women like objects. objects right. not, We're not objects. Not, we are people. people. The problem that you have, Ashley, is if this is your best friend, if this is your soulmate, do you think you're lower than the lowest to, to put up with and deserve this kind of behavior? That's the way I've been made to feel. He cannot give you what you want. So you have to decide to stay in a relationship for what he can give you. Nothing. Or leave, <laughs> right? I give, you, I give you nothing, huh? But it hurt. Oh, Emotionally, okay. not not physical things. That's not what the problem is. It's emotion. He doesn't get it. You think everything is about possessions and property and ownership of everything. It's not. I it's understand. feelings. You have none. That's what I tell you. you so most a lot of times I get like this. Well, and you sit know. there. You don't even comfort me. Do you want to leave with Andrew or separately to see our council? Separately counsel? right now. Separately? For the moment. Okay. Yeah. Be my guest. Yeah. <laughs> There's always the website, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back. Yeah. Next. What happened after the cameras stopped rolling? Updates on today's guests. You are the fan. Get off my stage. Revealed. Oh, oh, man. Man. Today on Trisha. The results were read, but what happened when these guests went home? Right before this episode aired, our staff obtained the most up to date information about today's guests. So here is today's Trisha air date update. Andre is extremely hurt by the affair Precious had with India. He's moved out of the house and is barely speaking to her. Precious is heartbroken, but determined to get him back. She and her brother, Bo, are trying to repair their relationship, but Bo's struggling to trust her again. Bo is standing by India's side, and the two are excitedly preparing for their first child together. India and Precious are keeping their distance from one another to focus on the relationships with their men. Ashley and Andrew are trying to work things out. Ashley says I inspired her to stand up for herself and she says she refuses to be Andrew's doormat ever again. Andrew continues to apologise for how he acted in the past and says he's trying hard to treat Ashley better. Well, let's hope so. We'll be right back.
secrets revealed. Oh, oh man. 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 Today on Trisha. I want to wish you all a happy Valentine's Day and thank you for watching. But, you know, with every rose, there are always a few pricks, so be careful. <laughs> you don't know how to take that, do you? See you tomorrow.